The principle of distraction is just that. It suggests that we're doing something throughout our lives to keep ourselves occupied and busy. Um, but busy from what? What are we distracting ourselves from to get to the point? I believe it's two things. One, more pedestrian and simple. Two, a little more deep and profound maybe. The first one is death. Distracting ourselves from our own death. Keeping ourselves busy with life all the live long day. Which might be argued as a good thing. Making good use of life. Keeping alive while we are alive. Distracting ourselves nevertheless from the sober thoughts that come when we think of our own end and the end of those around us. A lot of people find that depressing. Um, and so they would rather focus on life. So maybe that's a positive thing in that capacity. The second thing that we distract ourselves from is what I call the great indifference. The apparent emptiness of the universe, of any purpose or mission or reason for life other than to simply live and sustain life <clears throat> and pass our life on to the next generation. Life for its own sake seems to be the reason that we're here. No other <clears throat> deeper or inherent purpose. Intrinsic is the right word. You know, intrinsic purpose. None that I can find. That's the result and consequence of going alone, which is the first half of my book. The going alone part. It's the coming back. is the second half. We distract ourselves from that because it's a terrifying thought to imagine our lives as meaningless outside of the fact of life itself. Or, or is it? Well, it is, I can understand, if we just look at it from that vantage point. But the second part of going alone is the coming back part. The coming back from going deep into the wilderness alone and recognizing that God isn't real, that we are alone, that there is no overarching support, or at least none that is apparent, none that makes itself evident. The universe appears to be empty, of uh, over of guiding of guiding uh, of a guiding force. If that's the case, does that mean that we can't create one of our own? That's the challenge that I offer in the second half of going alone, is to come back from the wilderness, come back from the witness of the awful emptiness of that pervades seems to pervade all around us, and say to ourselves, the universe may not have a purpose for me other than to live and to pass my genes on to the next generation. But that doesn't mean I can't decide one for myself. Work hard to think about what's important in life, to formulate ob objectives for myself, to create and put together principles that I can live by towards some end that I deem worthwhile and a good reason to be alive besides having children. And that's the thing that we can do to give life meaning that we've formulated for ourselves. For me, that meaning is virtue, the pursuit of virtue, where virtue is simply defined as activities that improve the well-being of thinking creatures. Creatures that can talk, suffer in no pain or joy. Distraction, then, is what we do to avoid the necessity of taking on that responsibility, onboarding that hard work for ourselves, which is dear and hard work indeed. To own the responsibility for our own life's mission. To formulate what that mission is. And to, to, to categorize, to codify a, a creed that we can live by. To have objectives that we strive for and then to hold ourselves accountable to that mission for the rest of our lives. Hmm. No wonder a lot of people distract themselves from that kind of stuff. That's a lot of work. What do we distract ourselves with? What do we use? What is the instrument of our distraction? It's everything that we do. It's our work. It's our play. It's our family. It's our gossip. It's our entertainment. It's our politics. It's our religion. And it's our God. All of these things 
serve to populate the world with uh, busyness and uh, the affairs of, of, act, of our lives and uh, the fame purpose that we onboard by way of the institutions that we abide, create and abide and, and sustain. All of these are the distractions, the very dear distractions of our live long day. My challenge with the principle of distraction is to suggest that maybe go out, see the universe deep and, and long and hard for yourself. And if it prove to be inherently without meaning, then maybe instead of distracting ourselves any further, maybe do the, uh, the effort to create a meaning of your own and live and fulfill and abide that meaning to the end of our days. <laughs>